Hello and welcome to another session on Council of Business Innovation Masterclass. My name is Irimen Emene Fine, the Vice Council of Council of Business Innovation School. Today we are going to be looking at what I've titled The Secret of Business. Now, um, I want to start with a story. So, OK wanted to learn how to swim. So one day he went to a village in Ikorodu and he was amazed as he saw some young boys walking on water in, on Ikorodu Lake. And he couldn't understand. He thought it was only in the Bible that people were walking on water. But here he was. And he was seeing young women, seeing old men walking on water and crossing the water by just walking on it. So when he saw them, he tried to walk in the water too. Because he believed that whatever they, they, they were doing, he could see what they were doing. So he too could do what they were doing. But he noticed that they were just leaping across. They would leap to the left, leap to the right, leap to the left, and leap to the right. And they would get to the other side of the, ocean, of the lake. So he too walked to the edge of the lake, jumped to the left. Before he could jump to the right, he was sinking into the water and he rushed off again. He went home that day. The next day, he came back again. And he saw these people, they would jump to the left, jump to the right, jump to the left, jump to the right, and they cross over the, the water. Again, he came to the edge of the water again. This time, he jumped to the right. When he was trying to jump to the left, he started to sink. And for days, he was doing this, and the young children, they were looking at him laughing. And so one day, one of the old men called him and said, Young man, if you do this thing and one day you will drown, there's a secret to crossing this water by walking on the water. And I now asked him, Sir, what is the secret? And he now called him and said, Look at this young boy that is crossing now, because as they were there, they were still seeing um, young boys and young girls. They will leap to the left, leap to the right, leap to the left, leap to the right. And they will cross, walking on, leaping on water. And they never sank. So he now asked him, watch carefully where they are stepping. And he now watched. He saw them leap to the right, leap to the left, leap to the right again and cross. And the young man asked, the old man asked him, what did you notice about these children? So I just saw that they are bouncing on water and they are not sinking. He, now, Uchina asked this young man, is there a magic that they are doing that I need to go and learn before I can learn how to walk or leap across water. He said no. And the old man told him that crossing this lake and leaping on it, there's a secret that you must understand. He now asked him to look carefully. And when we child now look carefully, he noticed that right just below the surface of water, there were rocks that these villagers had arranged that they knew where the rock were and all they needed to do was leap on one rock, leap on the other rock, leap on the other rock and they will cross to the other side. Now when Uche saw the rock, the, young man, the old man said, now target this rock and ensure that you leap on the rock. So Uche too now leaped on the first rock, leaped on the next one, leaped on the next one. Before you know it, he was on the other side of the water. And he crossed back. The next day he went and brought his people and said, see, I'm a magician, I can actually leap across this water. And they were looking at him, he now left on the water, left, right, left, right, and he was on the other side of the water. And they say, wow, how do you do this? He told them that it's magic. And others said that, if Uche can do it, we too can do it. They also tried to leap to the left, immediately they left, they fell inside the water. Now, the lesson to this story is that you might see somebody in business doing something and you feel that when you start to do exactly what this person is doing that you get the same result that they are getting unfortunately every business has an inbuilt business secret that you must understand recently we've been helped we've been getting involved in the sale of a lot of businesses that the owners started and barely within two or three years they were shutting down and one of the key things I've noticed among all these things, these people who are selling their business is they have not found where the stones of the businesses are. They come into the industry that they want to step in and what do they do? They just flip, 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 flip. 
And what they failed to look out for was where are the stones? Where are the stones in this water of this business that I want to go into? Because if you don't look at, notice the stones in the business and you start off the business, what will happen? You can start off here and say, yes, what you need to do is just buy the stock and when you are leaping the first time, you land into the ocean of crisis. Now you see another young person who starts, she or she jumps from here to here, they are still standing. They jump from here to here, they are still standing. From here to here, they are still standing. Here to here and here to here. And you're wondering, I'm educated, I'm, in, I'm intelligent, I've gone to the best school. How come these young men who don't, who have not been to school, are actually running this business far better than I am? You know, recently, um, a few years back, I attended a, a program at uh, one of the business schools in Lagos. Um, that was um, close to 10 years ago. Now, recently, I tried to do a survey of most of the people that we attended the same school together. And one of the things I noticed that out of our, our class of about um, 60, more than 80% of us have gone back into paid employment. What happened? Most of us thought that it was about attending business schools. Most of us felt that we can just come in and start up a business and it will start to thrive. But we didn't understand that even if we know the basic the theory of running the business, even if we know the principles that we must find the rocks, without identifying where the rocks are, and you jump into the ocean of business, you will sink. Every business has its own rock. A few days back, I was discussing with somebody and he was asking me, what do you guys do? I said that we're into recruitment. He said, no, there's something else that you people do. You can't just be doing only recruitment and you are thriving. Now, I didn't want to tell him that beyond recruitment, there are other things inside the recruitment that we did for our clients that made them pay us far, far bigger than what other recruiters were doing. Now, which means somebody might now come into recruitment industry and the person will feel that, okay, I'm into recruitment that, because that is what counselor is doing. So, what do I need to do? Um, number one is I'll have a website. Uh, number two is um, I'll start to advertise. Number three is that I'll get people. Number four, we'll start to recruit. And they feel that this is the normal steps to become successful in the recruitment industry. But with what they fail to realize is they are the rocks. They are the rocks. And once you don't know how to live from the start to these rocks, and you feel that it's a straight line journey, what will happen? You find yourself sinking. You find yourself struggling in the industry. So it's important for you, which is why I always adv advise young people who want to start a business. Now before you start your business, always ensure that you get close to your boss. It's only when you've gotten close to your boss that you start to by observing him and asking him questions that you can dig out where the rocks are in that ocean of business where you operate. And it's part of the reason whereby a lot of workers start their own business because they've seen what their companies are doing, they try to do it and before they know it, the business collapsed. Um, I've seen a lot of people who came into um, who, some of the workers that were employed after a few months or years they feel that they know what we do and they go out to start their own and within a few months their, their business has collapsed. They fail to realize that in the industry that we're operating, there are rocks. And if you don't find that rocks and know how to step on them, you can jump out on the first stage. The next thing you know it, your business is sinking. Um, so, what it entails is that in the industry you are, one of the things you must understand are what are the target points? What are the target points of your energy? Now, um, I was discussing with an MD recently of one of the biggest companies in Nigeria and he was telling me that, see, we have about 100 products and we tell our people to go and market all these products. But you know what, out of all these 100 products we have, all our 
80% of our income are coming from less than 10 of the products. And that even if he toys with all the other 90 products, that this 10, he will never toy out with them. Now, somebody might look at his company and say, okay, um, these people have how many products? 100. We want to compete with them. So, since they have 100, we are new in the industry. Let's start with 50. And you target 50 of their products. And you fail to realize that you've not even, in your basket of the 50 products that you're starting to start with, you've not even touched the 10 that are giving them. You don't realize that they are rocks that they've stepped on, which is their core 10 that is giving them the result that they are, they are, they are getting. And you feel like, okay, it's just about number, you start with 50. So let's say, for instance, you are in the market with them, and um, in your own products, you look at their price. Let's say so for their products, the average price is 100 Naira, and you decide to slash your own price to 50 Naira. And what do they do? Now, because you slash to 50, they too can actually also slash their own price to maybe 80 Naira. But then you find out that your own is far cheaper than their own. Yet, their company is going bigger and bigger every day. And you have reduced, you keep reducing your price from 50 to 40, from 40 to 30, and you are struggling. And their own, the average price of their product is still at 80. What you fail to realize is that the core that is sustaining them is not what you are attacking, which means you might assume that you are competing against them without knowing that what you are competing is against their shadow. It is why that you don't start an, a, a business targeting another person's in product to compete against it. It's always for you to understand that these are the core areas that I want to operate in and identify what are the key success factors for those particular areas. So the roles we are actually talking about are the key success factors. Which means you need to always try to observe, try to ask a lot of questions to identify in this particular niche I'm trying to cover for myself what are the key success factors? What are the key things that once I start to do will guarantee me an element of success in this particular industry? So, it means that um, we'll be picking out certain industries and we'll be looking at what are the key success factors in them. We'll be looking at what are the things that once you start to target can ensure that you generate the success that you want. I want you to understand that this is a period for you not to now feel that um, you just need to copy what somebody is doing and you get the same results. You might copy them, but when you jump to the left and jump to the right, you find yourself sinking. And you are looking at them, they are jumping to the left, jumping to the right, and you might think that what they are doing is just random. Without knowing it's a deliberate step that just under the surface of the water, there is a rock that they are stepping upon. And they are not just randomly jumping to the left and jumping to the right. So it's for you to now take out time to look at your industry and say, okay, these are the key success factors. These are the things that I must identify and do in this particular area that I'm operating. Because it's not just for you to say, okay, I operate in, um, I run a school. Have you asked yourself, what are the key success factors in running a school? Um, for instance, like, you know, we run a school here too. And um, we also have a, a school for primary and nursery and primary. And somebody walked into our school the other day and looked at our place. I said, you people need to do something about the environment of your school. Immediately, he said something. I knew that the key success factor was the first impression people get when they walk into the school. And what did we do? We totally transformed the look of the school. We used carpet grass to run around the school. We used tiles to improve the front of, front of the school. We changed the paintings of certain things. And in fact, the day we were trying to complete, a parent, somebody that was passing by, just stopped and walked and said, Sir, I like this your school and I, I want to can you give me your, your school fees because I think I want my children to come here. There are key things that must be in, this, in, in any sector. There are keystones 
below the surface of the water that once you identify and jump on them, you'll be moving as if you are jumping on water, you are walking on water, and people see you and feel that you're walking on water, and when they try to do what you are doing, they will immediately start to sink. So, thank you for listening to this session and hope to see you tomorrow. My name still remains Emende Fanyi, the Wise Counselor of Counselor Business Innovation Masterclass. Our goal is to help inspire you for your business to thrive in this thriving and turbulent time. For those of you who want to reach out to us who may have some special business problem, we want us to help you out with or help you solve, you can call us on 080 Thank you for watching and see you tomorrow.